Hi, it's uh, good to have you. Thank you for joining me again on this uh, video blog. Uh, every Thursday we, we get together to speak about Christian spirituality and spiritual formation and I'm just sharing with you a few thoughts that I hope you find helpful. A few years ago uh, someone asked me a, a question. This guy asked me, Trevor, what is your main purpose? Uh, as a minister and I thought about that question for a while and then I said to him you know my main purpose is to really help ordinary people discover that they are God's God's beloved um, I think this is what Jesus did throughout his ministry Jesus we know was the unique beloved son of the father but throughout his life whenever he meets people um, he helps them to discover that they are God's beloved. I think of him touching the leper, I think of him with the woman at the well, I think of him with uh, the woman who was caught in adultery. Whenever he's with people, he, he, he helps them to know that they are loved and accepted and forgiven. And that's what I'd like to share with you today. Uh, I don't know what's going on in your life at the moment, all I want to do is I want to say to you that you're God's beloved. That, that, that you are loved with a love that will never ever let you go. Uh, that you are known by name to God. That, that, that your name has been carved into the crucified hands of God. That there is nothing in this world, nothing that can ever separate you from God's love in Jesus Christ. You are God's beloved. And so I hope that you will just take that one little sentence with you into this week. I am God's beloved. And I hope that you will say that often and again. I also hope that you'll share that with others so that you can help them to know that they are God's beloved as well.